But there's another problem. These men have discovered that sometimes your brain appears to conspire against you. And no amount of scribbling can solve that. Peter Johansson is forcing people to make decisions. This one. It's a simple enough task for most people, and in fact, it isn't the real point of the experiment. Why did you prefer that one? Um, higher cheekbones, slightly better hair, not much between them. Peter Johansson and Lars Hall have devised an experiment which calls into question many of our assumptions about how we make most of our everyday decisions. We're interested to see what kind of detail uh, the representations behind people's decisions and what kind of insight they have about those decisions. Why did you choose this one? Uh, it seems like it'd be someone with a very interesting personality. Oh. This is all quite boring, until you look at the experiment from a different perspective. This one. We added a twist, a card trick, uh, so that sometimes they uh, choose one face but end up with the other one. Watch carefully. The volunteer chooses the card on the left. This one. But Petter swaps the card and presents the photo that was seen on the right and was actually rejected. It is a card trick, but it's a cheap card trick, uh, based on something uh, that the magicians just call black on black. So for each card, there's a hidden card behind it, which is actually the opposite one. When we slide the other card over, uh, the black card is hidden. And then uh, Petra just uses his arm to slide it down into the, his lap. I mean, it's two parts that's interesting here. First, the fact that they don't notice when you switch the pictures. It's interesting in itself, and it's quite, quite surprising. And the second part is, of course, the verbal reports they give, that they actually motivate choices they didn't make. 80% of the people we tested had absolutely no idea that a switch had been made. Uh, again, this one just struck me. Interesting shot. Since I'm a photographer, I like the way it's lit and looks. It's a puzzling phenomenon. This one? Lars and Petter Looks think that it can only be understood by looking at our fundamental relationship with our surroundings. We rely upon the world. The world is dependable. So if you reach for your car keys, you don't end up with the uh, armadillo in your lap <laughs> or something like that. <clears throat> the one on the left. It might also be that we simply can't countenance our decisions being wrong. Once we've made up our minds, there's far too much invested to backpedal. Um. We simply post-rationalize and pretend that it was a great choice all along. You just seem friendlier. Friendlier.